day five and we are in Juneau this morning. Juneau. We're about to go have breakfast at Triton's, one of the sit down options, the only sit down option this morning. And then yeah, a we have later, a little extra, a little extra Yeah, we have a little extra, extra time. time. So we're, we're, going, go sit down. we're going on a helicopter tour today and we'll tell you a little more about that later. We're excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll show you kind of the breakfast uh, menu from Triton's just in case you ever want to know. Uh, what that option is and uh, and it's just going to be a fun day we'll show you some downtown Juno later today also and uh, it's an early we got to get back on early it's like yeah 445 that's yeah, like a 445 uh, the all aboard time like you could leave really early this morning though people were leaving at like 645 this morning I was like okay enjoy that <laughs> yep so all right here we go okay so we're in Triton's and the breakfast menu is the same each day that you're at the sit-down restaurant. It does not change. So it's the same menu for breakfast each morning. We also have one of the best servers ever. Davey. Hi. Say hey, YouTube. Hi. I will check it on YouTube after you post it. Just let me know, OK? <laughs> That's awesome. Get it? So they also come around to breakfast when you're at eating at the restaurants. They come around with a platter of danishes. This is my favorite. It's got pecans on it. Mm. It's yummy. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, we've done great the whole trip so far to record our food, but this time we forgot. So, <laughs> uh, trigger alert here. Uh, we're about to show you some half-eaten food. <laughs> So if that bothers you, fast forward. But uh, I ended up going with uh, a omelet, and Wendy did an omelet as well. And well, you, you can see what we did here, just to give you a feel. Yeah. <laughs> Got some bacon and some uh, waffles, Mickey waffles. Uh, on the side. I got a hash brown. Hash brown. Bacon. I love their grilled tomatoes here. Really good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that's breakfast. Just hanging out in Triton's and walking out and I thought that was super cool. The detail here. Super awesome. And we're on our way to a glacier helicopter ride in dog sledding and we are uh right here on somebody's getting on with us maybe and we're off the ship we are going on our helicopter excursion where we get to ride dogs or do dog sledding and uh go up on top of a glacier pretty excited it's chilly today it's, 40, it's a little cold 47 degrees out here right not gonna lie tmi i've got long johns on <laughs> there's an eagle they don't like on that poster there hey Can check out this eagle right here this is pretty cool <laughs> boom look at there i saw him from my room just a minute ago he was just flying and uh, that's where he landed super cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Our helicopter tour just got canceled. Our helicopter tour just got canceled because of weather. Pretty disappointing. So now we're on a bus. We're just going. We don't even know what we're doing. We're just yeah. going on a bus. We don't really have a backup plan. The good news is we got twelve hundred dollars in our pocket. Got twelve hundred dollars in my pocket, and I'm gonna have some fun today. You know what this means. What's it mean? We have to come back to Alaska. That, that's what it means. Wendy, she's brilliant. This is why I married her. That is, she's a travel agent. By the way, we've not mentioned that yet uh, at all. We've not, we've, we're not, we probably, we have, we promise we haven't been uh, cheating and luring you into a false sense of security here. Uh, but she does Disney travel. And so if you are looking for someone to plan your trip, I can work. Wendy with an E at yellowshoetravel.com. She's the one. Yeah. So uh, we're just uh, flying down here, <laughs> and so yeah, uh, we're just gonna go see what we can get into. All right, it is what it is. You excited? You excited? I'm pretty sad. <laughs> She's sad. I'm just really She's mad. Making lemonade out of lemons. That's what we're doing right now. So we are uh, walking. Sorry about the bounce. It is what it is. Uh, we got off our little. Uh, a shuttle. shuttle bus and went straight to whale watching. We grabbed us a whale watching ticket 
and uh, it's Which, actually it also, a combo. Yeah, it's, it's a cool. combo. We're going to go to Mendenhall Glacier, and we'll have about an hour there to see the visitor center and the overlook. We won't be able to hike to like Little Nugget Falls or anything, but we'll be able to see the glacier, and then we'll get on a bus that will take us to our well watching tour, yep. and we'll have about two hours. Yeah, um, so cool. And also, if you've watched a bunch of other Alaskan you're videos, you're guaranteed to see whales. Guaranteed to see whales. If you don't, yeah. I think they give you a refund. And if you've watched a lot of Alaskan videos like we have, and uh, you're still watching ours for some reason, which we <laughs> great. Thank uh, you. This is the uh, Tracy's that you see everywhere. Tracy's King Crab Shack. Which we're having crab. Uh, sorry about the bounce. We're having crab on the ship, so we're kind of like. Yeah, we're well, good. and tomorrow we're doing a yeah. crab feast in Ketchikan. That's so, uh, we're the only ship in port today, which yeah. is kind of unique. Yeah. So. so here we go. We're right now walking to the Harley Davidson store. My father-in-law loves Harley Davidson, so we're gonna buy him a shirt that says Alaska on it. So it is what it is. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we've changed our mind again. We are just in go mode here. So uh, we don't have enough time to get to the Harley Davidson store, but we found out there was one in catch again. So we're gonna do that instead. So what I thought I would do just for a minute, we got about five, 10 minutes here before we jump on our bus, is I thought I would show you a little bit of Tracy's like every other Alaskan tour video. Um, show you a little bit of Tracy's here. So check this out. stuff that you can go check out if you're into the whole shopping scene. Also a little point of reference here as far as where the ship is. You jump on the ship and the tram just takes you around basically uh, to this area over here and uh, this is where also uh, the Gold Belt tram is which is an option for you if you want to go up. We've done quite a few of these over the years so we're not really going to take that uh, but that does look pretty fun uh, if you wanted to see a big view of the city. So if the tram is something that you're interested in, uh, here are the costs as of May 2023. And, uh, this is kind of what the current deal is right here. Unlimited rides all day. You can just go up and down, up and down, up and down. Made by the name of a rider was on his way to know to open up a bar there, which he did. And he had to stop overnight here. We don't know what happened for that the evening. You had to give your guy very film on you here. Oh, he's only fast racing town in where I picked you up at. And then there's but a place right there called you well there. What's it called? Juno Froyo. Juno Froyo. Well we made it to the glacier and uh it's really awesome. And it makes sense why we're not flying a helicopter. Yeah, because we were <laughs> Because you can see the our helicopter was supposed to go to the top of Mendenhall. Yeah. And you can see this, the ceiling is just really low. Yeah, it's just a low ceiling. And uh, But the combo tour that we got dropped us off here. We're going to be here for one hour. And uh, it's a little rainy. And, and so then we're, we're going to go to Ock Bay. Ock Bay. We're going to do the whale watching. So it should be fun. I don't know how close we'll get. Uh, we're about to go get some water at the visitor center. And just to kind of explore a little bit. So we decided to walk to the photo point. It's about a third of a mile uh, walk from the visitor center here. Head to Glacier, and it's definitely worth coming around the corner to. We're not there yet, but we already can see everything There's a lot the, better, including uh, the waterfall. Little, that's Little Nugget Falls. You can walk there as well, but we really don't have, we don't have time. Yeah. We'd be pushing it. What was that? How, do you remember how far it was? A mile. It's about a mile. Uh, each way uh, to yeah. get to, so it's about to that, but you get pretty close. You see a whole bunch of people standing over there. 
Yeah, so Photo Point definitely gives you a really good view, and uh, you get both the uh, waterfall and the glacier. Plenty of room here to stand around. It's not too far of a walk at all. Give you a little view of what the place looks like here. Looks nice. Plenty of spots here. Sorry about the zoom fast moving there. But yeah, it's just great. Look at that right there. Man. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, check it out. I fixed my zoom, by the way. It's not fast zoom anymore. Now it's more artistic. I'm looking like a zoom professional. You better be careful. It's an Arctic turn nesting area. Is it really? Yes. Now start dive bombing again. Oh, yeah, that because we <laughs> did we get that on video? We didn't get it on video. <laughs> so, when we left our little hike the other day to the in Skagway to Yakutunia Point, as we were coming back, this bird dove at us really low, and we had no it's like idea. a seagull. We had no it's idea. Like we're it's, a, it's, well, it's, it's not like a we're seagull, on... it's an Arctic tern, but we had no idea why it was diving at us. And this guy drove by and said, It's their nesting area. And they were, <laughs> we're just like, dive bombing. It's like, What's happening right now? <laughs> and making a really loud noise, like yep. it scared us. <laughs> So we just uh, saw the glacier, took a couple pictures, and uh, we decided to come back to the visitor center because we have a few minutes extra time here, and we're going to watch the uh, the, the movie about. I guess it's about the glacier. I hope so. <laughs> we're assuming. We'll see what happens. We'll tell you if it's not, and uh, we'll give you a little feedback on what it's like after. Yeah. Alaska has been called the Great Land full of rock and ice and landforms that seem unmoving and unchanging. The art reflects the place. So isn't it just perfect that as you put on your potlatch hat made out of the spruce roots from the beaches and you wrap yourself in the robes of the mountain goat, you've really embodied the very beaches and the lofty places that we call home. that links snowflakes to glaciers, glaciers to rivers and sea, water to wildlife, trees and air, and all of these things to us embodies the essence of Southeast Alaska. So yeah, the movie was, uh, it was worth our time. I mean, and uh, it definitely gave us some information about how glaciers work. So uh, yeah, it was good. And now I just uh, walked outside the visitor center here and uh, there is a little bit of an overlook here that's outside and uh, it's also incredibly beautiful. Got a great view uh, just of everything here. Unbelievable. You're back. Hey, folks, how are we doing? We're good. <laughs> Trent. Welcome to Satter Harbor. Uh, my name's Stephanie. We are going to be on the vessel Ramsey today down with uh, Captain Mike and then we also have Kristen down there waiting for us. Um, once we get down to the boat, we're going to have everybody start inside the cabin. And then once we get to the wildlife, we'll open up the doors and let you explore the rest of the boat. Um, but it's just a little more safe and more comfortable to be inside while we're at speed. Um, and then there's a quick safety briefing we have to go over as we exit the harbor. Um, but besides that, ready to go find some whales? Let's do it. All right, follow me. Lots of whale touring buses around here, or touring boats around here for sure. Everybody, every seat's a good seat. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this thing's turning out all right? Yeah. 
Yeah. We're not on a helicopter. But, uh, I'm just gonna do it. We just found out that Dutch. we are one of like this uh, many people. My name's Captain Mike McCabe. I'm up here from North Carolina for the first summer. Anybody from North Carolina? No? Yeah, so we are about to say that uh, there's only like 12, there's people, 12 people on our whole boat. On our whole boat. This boat holds like... A ton of people. It probably holds... A lot more than 12. Yeah, it probably holds 15. So we'll have plenty of you. It's going to be great. Yeah. 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 You're back. The rest of Yeah, this day is turning out just fine. We're having a good time. It's definitely rocky. And it's also really doggone cold. It is cold out there. <laughs> out here on the water. But it is fun. We're having a good time. <laughs> Got some sea lions. <laughs> Listen to them. Listen. <laughs>
Well, that turned out okay. It wasn't. You're still a little disappointed. I'm little still disappointed. a little disappointed that we, we were really looking forward to, to riding a helicopter dog, and yeah. dog sledding, but uh, we just threw something together yeah. and it turned out uh, great. The whale watching was great. We had a great time. Yeah, and, we saw uh, some great humpback whales. So much whales. We'll obviously we'll um, see some video of that. You've already it was, seen it. And, yeah, it was uh, really good. We do recommend. I mean, you know, we literally just got off of the uh, little tram or the little bus that took you downtown and went to sort of the first uh, whale watching guide. tour yeah. guide thing we saw and. Uh, it ended up being uh, Alaska, uh, Tales. Alaska Tales, and but it, we booked it through M and M Tours. Yeah, M and M Tours. But they are uh, they yeah. are they work with M and M Tours. What's great about Alaska Tales was uh, they don't have any partnerships with any cruise ships, and so it wasn't like just slap full of people. And it, I mean, it could be still full, uh, but it was actually a really lot of fun. The crew yeah. was very professional and. Uh, we you know, felt super blessed to really only have yeah, 12 people in the Sure, boat. it was awesome. Very and good. They were great at getting the whales. And yeah. we actually saw three different sets of moms and babies. Yeah, totally. So it whales, was really. Whales, not kids. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're back on the Disney Wonder, and uh, we've got dinner tonight in uh, Tiana's. Tiana's. It's like kind of it's the big the Mardi, Gras Mardi Gras night. night. That'll be fun. Wendy's going to do some dancing for you on the. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, and then, uh, and then we uh, let's see. After that, oh, it's Frozen yeah, night. The, and, uh, the, well, frozen, the frozen musical, frozen musical uh, is tonight in the Walt Disney Theater. So, so we'll be going to that as well. I will be singing a lot because I love it. Anyway, uh, that's that. It's going to be fun. Stay with us. Tiana's. We're going to Tiana's tonight. It's the, it's the Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mardi Gras. Let's go. Oh, oh, wait. Look at this. This is the best head server ever right here. Look, look at this guy. We didn't get to go. <laughs> what? That canceled. Got canceled. Can we?
That was dinner, and uh, it was our time in Tiana's, and it was a party, <laughs> as you could tell. And it was, I think, my favorite menu. All it was week. good. <clears throat> yeah. There were everything I ate was delicious, and there yeah. were other things that I kind of wanted to try. We tried a lot, though. We yeah, had a lot. Totally. That's one thing to keep in mind when you do a Disney cruise. Um, I think it's probably any cruise is uh, if you just ask to try more than one thing, they'll typically say yes. So, um, obviously you want to be careful not to waste too much or whatever, but yeah, it works. So we started out, um, with the, uh, sausage fritters. Yes. And we, we forgot to record forgot that. Forgot to get a picture of that, but it was, we're getting tired. They were really good. They were though. tasty. Yeah. Highly recommend. They were yummy. Yeah. And then, uh, with that, we also had the, uh, what was it called? Shrimp and grits. The shrimp and grits. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't a typical shrimp and grits that you would find like in a restaurant. It was more of an appetizer side. It only had like a few shrimp and a really light bed of um, of grits. I would say they were more like a cheese grit. Uh, would you agree? Yeah, they were yeah. cheese grit. And it was also the interesting flavor to me was the fact that it also had like drizzled barbecue sauce. So it was like that cheese grit with that drizzled barbecue along with the shrimp. I think and it had some feta cheese in it. And some too, feta cheese which, too. Like it was just a chunks. really. Interesting flavor flavors, com flavor combination. I loved it. Super good. Yeah. Like, really good. Probably yeah. one of the best things I've had on the trip so far. I wish they did it in a like almost like an entree, but then we wouldn't yeah. have got to have our normal entrees. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so we also both got the wedge salad. We're a fan of the wedge salad, you yeah. know. And uh, she got uh, just the ranch dressing. I had the Thousand Island. That's why I looked uh, different. Uh, but it was a tasty wedge salad. If you're a fan of the wedge salad, uh, and uh, then we had the prime rib. Both of us had the prime rib, as you could tell. And then he also gave us a uh, sea bass uh, as well. I don't think I've had sea bass, or maybe I can't. I can't remember if I had. Have you? I don't think I've had it before. Yeah. I mean, if I had, it was um, the thing about sea bass was uh, it was it to me it was a little bit fishier than the typical you know yeah. fish that you might have, but it wasn't terrible. It was it just wasn't, a little more fishy. And it was good to me. It was better because the fishy taste was yeah. less noticeable. If you got some of the jambalaya like rice, yeah, with it was on that. Bite. It was on a bed of jambalaya rice, and so it was tasty. So if you had the yeah. sea bass with mixed with the jambalaya at the same time, it was really good. And the shrimp yeah. that were with it, the were shrimp really were really tasty. good. Yeah. So, um, but it wasn't my favorite thing ever by any yeah. means. Yeah, it was just kind of. Okay. Prime, I don't know that I would order it again. The prime rib was delicious. But the though. prime rib, let's go. It like it was really very good prime rib as far tender, as prime rib. Flavorful. Yep. So yep. great. And meal. then for dessert, I had the uh, pecan 
Uh, it was the signature dessert, so it was kind of like a pecan pie. Uh, and it was really tasty. And then you ordered, uh, it was a vanilla the, bread pudding. That stuff it was, was really good. It was white chocolate vanilla or white chocolate bread pudding with yeah. caramel sauce and ice cream. And it was, it was really yummy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. Was so it kind of reminded me of that, that kind of that thing you, we had in the first night or two. Is oh, that the same, souffle. The souffle yeah, texture. So... And then we, uh, it was, you know, Louisiana, New Orleans night, so we also got a side of bin yeah, beignets. Yeah, we, we shared an order. And the beignets were really good. I don't know if those are the same ones they serve in the French Quarter Lounge or not. If it is, they're what? awesome. They uh, they're, definitely. They're completely different from. They're not typical New Orleans no, beignets. If you've though. been to New Orleans no. and Cafe Du Monde and you've yeah. had, they're, they're not, they're much more doughy, like donut. Yeah, but like, I enjoyed I thought, them. But they were good. Primarily yes. because I like doughy bread and powdered sugar yeah. on anything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, but overall, it was a fun night. And uh, as you can tell, part of the fun is just the atmosphere in yeah. there tonight. And the servers are all, all into it. They also and, give you Mardi Gras beads. Yep, Mardi Gras beads. There. Yeah. So it's, so, a, it's a good night. It was fun. Uh, so now we're just kind of chilling out at the room for a few minutes. And then we're going to go see uh, Frozen, the musical. And that's what we've got next before we call it a night. So there we go. The theater, and we got our popcorn bucket refilled. We're about to watch Frozen, the musical. And that's about it. Popcorn's a buck fifty to refill, so that's not bad at all. And that's a day. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. And you saw uh, a tail end of Frozen. I thought Frozen was great. If yeah. you're a fan of Frozen, I mean, it was a good. It's hard they to they not did like a good it. job. So uh, awesome day tomorrow. We will be in Ketchikan, and we are doing a crab. What's it called? Crab wilderness exploration. It's, it's like wilderness, wilderness exploring. Explorer. We're gonna go out on a boat, yeah. do a little crabbing, eat some crab, and just hang out and catch can a little bit. So it should be a fun day. Thanks for joining us.